Commercial Relations of India in the Middle Ages by Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Part 29. But this system was early disturbed by the rise of Islam, when we imagined that trade was carried on by land caravans, with all the cumbersomeness we can imagine the hindrances it must have underwent owing to the rapid military movements of the Sultans. We will recall that there was four principal trade routes from Asia to Europe, and they all lay through the dominions of the Saracens. During the Crusades, so long as the avenue by the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea was controlled by hostile Mohammedan powers, it became necessary to adopt another more expensive and circuitous route, requiring much less land carriage and several transfers of freight. This route led up the Indus, across the mountains on beasts of burden, thence by the Oxus, and so to the Caspian Sea. This, which was the ancient route, was now adopted by Venice and Genoa. From the Caspian, it took especially the direction of the Volga to a place called Zarizin, thence through the country to the Don, where at the river's mouth in the towns of Tana, now Azor, both Venice and Genoa had commercial privileges, and the former had a consul from the end of the 12th century. Afterwards, an important entrepot from Genoa was Theodosia Nagyata in the Crimea. The end.